think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Pan America Special, 1250, I think it has 155 horses. <laughs> And I perform just as uh, good, just as well as the bigger bikes. Hey guys, welcome back. This video uh, is pretty much about, oh, about me falling off the bike. It's pretty much about um, trying to figure out, is this $5,000 Royal Enfield Himalayan just as capable pretty much as uh, the bigger bikes, uh, the more expensive bikes. As you recall, I don't know, four or five months ago, I went ahead and bought this bike and we were planning, the whole group was planning on doing the uh, the BDR, the BDR and everybody went ahead and purchased like really expensive bikes and good bikes, <laughs> expensive. And I decided to go with this bike uh, being the budget that I had. So yeah. And if you remember, I said, can I compete or can I do the BDR? Can I perform just as uh, good, just as well as the bigger bikes? A few days ago, we went over, take a look, you'll see in a second. A few, good, uh, a few days ago, we went over uh, up north, because here in New Jersey, there's nowhere uh, really that you can ride off road. 95% of the roads, the dirt roads, off roads are privately owned. The only place we were able to go, you said, let's head up uh, north towards Hancock, where there's a, a patch where the BDR starts. And the intention was to, you know, go taste, test out the grounds. Guys came, we didn't have the, re the gear with us, but you just wanted to taste a little bit dirt, a little dust, a little bit gravel, and to see uh, what the BDR is gonna be uh, like for us. And when we do it in a, in a few weeks, in a few months, so I said it's a good chance, good opportunity, you know, to see if uh, my bike, the small, lighter, cheaper bike can hold up and can do just as good as, uh, as the bigger bikes. So what you're about to see is pretty much us, not tackling, but experiencing uh, a few miles uh, of, of what the BDR is, all, is gonna be about. So we can, uh, you know, get ready mentally and physically and come up with all the possible gear and because, you know, you see a lot of videos out there of people posting and everything seems, oh yeah, this, that, it's easy, whatever. But until you actually see what it's all about, you know how you need to prepare, what you need to take with you, what bikes are suitable for it. So we went out and started the short uh, path in Hancock and went off road a little bit. I was, it was pretty fun. Hey guys, what's up? As a kid, as a child, my mom used to read this book to me. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the little uh, train, the little uh, caboose, the little uh, train that could. And it was like, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh, I'm sure some of you know, uh, a lot of you know about it. You read that book as a kid. It was pretty much of a, a small engine that that tried to do what the big engines, train engines, uh, try to do. And he was trying to make it up, trying to make it to the top of the hill. And the whole way he was like, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And that's what I feel like today. And I tell you, I'm with the, the, the group. Before I picked up the bike, I was like, can my Royal Enfield compete with the big guys? We're on our way. We've got Warthog over here, the 411 Royal Enfield Himalayan. We've got Glenn's KTM 1290. I don't know, 150, 160 horsepower. We got John's Harley Davidson. You say it's like triple yours. <laughs> Pan America Special 1250. I think it has 155 horses. And Glenn's Tiger over oh, here. Oh, oh sorry, and, and the dolls. Triumph 900 Tiger. I think he's pushing 120 horse. And up till now, on the highway, highway speeds, it's like, they're being kind to me, but uh, we're doing 80, 75, 80, and I'm the whole time I'm full throttle, I'm almost redlining it, fifth gear, but I'm, like I said, I think I can, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping up. To do the first part today, and see how I uh, fare over there and see how I keep up with them over there. 120 miles, we're at the entrance. This is the entrance of the Northeast BDR just by Hancock 
uh, village town, city, little little town. We're getting ready, and we're going to start the fun part of standing up on the bike, some dirt roads. We're going very close alongside the Delaware River. New York, Pennsylvania, New York, Pennsylvania. This part you were holding on for dear life, right? Yeah. Uh, try to, first of all, a lot of it is choosing the right path. Say that. We're down here, come here. He's nowhere near ready for us. I understand. Even getting out, just if you see a, a patch that is uh, gra gravel or rocks or whatever, cho choose your path because you literally went in directly. In the middle, all, right? In the middle, that's no good. You so, have to choose the easiest path. You but what is concept. easier, the rock or the no sand? The smoothest, the smoothest part. Yeah, you don't much. want to hit big boulder. If you hit big boulder, what's going to happen is your your steering wheel is going to start cocking. You know what I mean? And then you're going to start losing balance. You have to use a lot of clutch, and that's the thing. If he was never on a dirt bike, it's not something we could teach him in in yeah. in, in a couple hours. This right. is years of practice. With a clutch, it's years of practice. What is it like riding the clutch? Like yes. the yeah. friction zone? Yeah. Friction zone, riding the clutch, gas, absolutely. Reason why big fucking bikes in this suck. You know what I'm trying to say? And like the top panier, you shouldn't have took it today. You know what I mean? Look at this guy. Is it smooth? John, is it smooth after this or do you know? What? No, it's it worse. So we're about, uh, I don't know, 10 miles in and there are quite a few boulders over here and uphills and downhills that are kind of difficult, difficult for uh, the, all these loose pieces of rock and stuff like that. We're going to turn around uh, and take a rest. And then we decide what we want to do today. Actually, we had no plan. We said we'd just, just go in and see how it goes. Turning around up till now, Warthog is chugging along and doing its thing. Actually, I think I'm having the easiest time being uh, being it such a light, a light bike compared to the big, you know, the big guy right here. Glenn is trying to do the wee woo. We're trying to do the wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo. We're trying to do the wee woo. it up let's see them chug along here comes Glenn zooming by he's reckless
Next we'll have John. I mean, the, the there's a lot of loose rock and loose boulders here. Technically, on a lighter bike, it's much, much easier. But these these bikes are really heavy. Here comes Nadal, I think. Nadal has the least experience, but he's doing a great job. Great job. Great job. Oh, it's John took his bike up, I think. Okay, John helped Nadal. Nadal is his first time pretty much off-road. So, he's a bit overwhelmed, I think. Here comes, here comes Johnny Boy on the Pan America. And it's chugging along. You see, that's the thing. It's a heavy bike. It's, it's a heavy bike. Like I went in first gear, I didn't stop for a second, I chugged along. This is a heavy bike. Bro. It's got tons of power, but it's heavy. It was spinning the whole time. Yeah. Spins and stops, spins and stops. Yeah, yeah.
you something, we're having a blast. We're not on a specific coordinate, but we're in backcountry roads and gravel, off-road, sometimes paved. It's lots of fun, really. that when we continue we get to uh, Hawk's Nest there you go Hawk's Nest we continue on this road on the Delaware we're gonna hit Hawk's Nest so we're gonna see Hawk's Nest on the way back very soon look at this place look at this look at this beautiful spot So, what do you guys think? Um, I think actually that uh, this bike pretty much proved itself to be uh, just as capable as the bigger bikes. And as a matter of fact, I think it's e even an easier bike to handle in the, in the rough, rough terrain. And uh, you know, as you're going on adventure, adventure riding, you don't need to go so fast. Uh, obviously when you're going in between sections of off-road, you wanna go fast maybe but off-road or just, you know, the whole purpose of adventure is seeing new things, new routes, new new views. And this bike is just, it's just, it's just capable of it. So that's it. What do you guys think? What? I got one of your wheels. The wheels fell off. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> one of your wheels fell that's off. That's not a wheel. That, that's no? a wee wee. It's not a wheel. So didn't your wheel? Yeah, look, the front wheel fell off. Look, come on. Uh. <laughs>